It's the rivalry game. It's Indiana against Purdue. It's Zach Eady <laughs> against Trace Jackson Davis. And Jeff, you got the shirt on. There's a reason why you got that sweatshirt on. 79-71. Edie got the best of Trace Jackson Davis in the box score, but the Hoosiers completed the sweep of the Purdue Boilermakers. And right now, this is what they're saying to Bloomington. Hey, Purdue, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Man, I never would have thought this would have happened. Honestly, I mean, you know, how dominant Purdue is at Mackey. And, and I tweeted it before the game that, you know, it's probably like, the, the second or third best home environment. You were there last week, Rob, with me. I mean, that student section's the real deal. Um, it makes Carolina, John, look like the wine and cheese crowd that we talk about. Uh, <laughs> but, they're, they're, you know, the bottom line was, and, and Rob and I saw this last week, right, when we watched Indiana play, Jalen hood Shafino made a real bonehead play down the stretch of that game where he basically just gave the ball to the other team. And then he comes back down the next possession and he hits a huge shot uh, to help them win that game against Illinois at home. And you could just see the poise. And NBA guys told me this before the year when they went to their pro day. They all raved about his poise. You can't speed him up. Uh, makes good decisions for the most part. Man, with, with Trace being a non-factor, a complete non-factor in the first half, Jalen Hood, Chifino, like, absolutely dominated the game in every which way. And uh, to me, again, nobody in Purdue can guard him. That's that's the issue with Purdue for me. It's like, who's that athletic dude that you have that you can put on a guy like, like Jalen Huchifino? They don't have one. They don't have one. Uh, I mean, the – Hushafino kind of took over towards the end. Every time it felt like Purdue was getting back in it, he had big shot after big shot. And, you know, you wonder if this Purdue team is kind of like becoming like the LeBron against the Pistons. I don't know what year it was where they're like, hey, look, we can let Edie get Edie get 40 yep. and we'll win. Edie gets 40 and no one else does anything else. We will win the, win the ball game. And so, you know, I don't know if this is a game plan, but it looked like when 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 uh Edie caught it in the middle, they were kind of letting him go one on one, and we got it down on the blocks. They were double teaming him, which, you know, the more and more I look at, it, I think a rushed Edie hook, um, would be in the benefit of the other team. Um, it's a it's a two point shot. It's a low post move. Doesn't get the other team involved. Get doesn't get the offensive team offensively involved. So, it was an interesting game to see. You know, Trace Jackson Davis not really play well, and they kind of just took over. Man, they were playing harder. They were trying to dunk on Edie. I mean, I think the fear factor is gone uh, for Purdue now. They're going to have to buckle up because uh, it's about to get interesting. Yeah, for me, the biggest thing was that I think what Purdue's game plan was defensively was they put Edie on Race Thompson and just basically said, we're not going to guard you. We're going to have mm -hmm. two guys in the paint to take up space. Like when you when your help defender on Trace Jackson Davis is a seven foot four, 290 pound national player that you're like, you wonder why. Uh, why Trace? Yeah, it's a wall. Months, right? It had yeah, a wall a wall. On, on Trace. Yeah. yeah, he's a wall, and that to me, that's that's why I was so impressed about this performance because they basically just said we're going to force Jalen Hood Shafino to beat us at home in our building in this rivalry game. When every single one of those students has probably been drinking for like seven hours before the game started, <laughs> right? And I will say this about Purdue, um, I kind of think that we should have seen the writing on the wall here, right? I'm going to roll through who their wins are in big 12 uh, in big 10 play. They're don't eight. and zero. Oh, don't do it. They're eight. and zero oh against the bottom four teams. And they are one in three against the other teams that are in the top five of the league. That is uh Northwestern. That is Maryland. That is Illinois. And that is somebody that I'm blanking on in the, Oh, it, uh, they didn't play Illinois yet. So, but the other top five, other top five teams, they are one and three against them. They've had a very uh, favorable, schedule when it comes to the breakdown of the big 10. So um, I'll be curious to see what happens to them when they get into March. I think a lot of this is just legs. 